Hey guys, I hope everybody is doing really, really, really well and everyone's enjoying their weekend. It's Sunday um, afternoon, early evening in England and it's snowing outside, which is always good. So I've just received back this beautiful restoration of a USSR uh, vice. Look at the anvil on that. Isn't that something? Um, beautiful teeth and look at the blue in on that and then the bluing on the grub screws. Now, this was done by my buddy and fellow restorer, Dave, from um, his amazing channel, um, Restore and Make. I had to look at his sticker, sorry Dave, got a memory like a sieve. So basically, um, this was in a terrible state and if you wanna see what it looked like when he started and what Dave's done to it, to get it looking this good, you go watch the video. So the link will be in the description below and it's an absolutely super duper job. Well done, Dave, absolutely fantastic job. So that will go in the Vice collection in the pride of place. It's beauty, I didn't think it was gonna turn out this nice when it was done. So thank you, Dave, for that. So this video is gonna be about the uh, HD Smith stuff, um, which is the um, guess the price reveal. So let's move on to that one. So right guys, so this is the HD Smith tool haul, which I'm sure you've all been uh, awaiting with great excitement, uh, not. So basically, um, we all know how this came about. I met a, a wonderful chap, um, young chap who's collected these for about 12 years. Um, he's been pretty persistent in his collection and he's really got an amazing collection. He still has an amazing collection, despite the amount of things I've depleted his wonderful collection with. Um, and it's a real pleasure. So I wanted to go over a few of the, the, the items and then I will go on to who was the clever clogs and who guessed it and how much did they actually end up having to pay for it all. Uh, the first thing I wanted to mention was this very, had a few comments on this was um, a little HD Smith screwdriver. This was one of the first tools ever to be covered with rubber. So the chap I was talking to him last night who I bought this from, I was having a good chat, and he said that this, obviously the rubber has long since perished on the actual tool, but this hatch in here is to grip the rubber. So this was a rubber coated tool, which makes sense because you wouldn't have a lip like that. So how cool is that? So I wonder if rubber could be put back on that. Um, obviously there you can see um, the, the HD Smith uh, Company, Pennsylvania, paint and, did it say paint and applied? Paint and tid. There we go, paint and tid. So this was one of the very earliest rubber handle, the rubber coated tool. Quite innovative. Didn't know that. Thank you for telling me that. Um, the, uh, shall we say, the man from Tennessee. That sounds pretty good. Um, the other highlight is these hatchets. Now, I was talking to him last night and he said that basically in the time he's been collecting, he's only seen three of these come up for sale this one and two others one of the other two others was in terrible condition and the other one of the two others he said went for five or six hundred bucks which was more than he was willing to pay um so it obviously went pretty high he said so these are not that common the uh, hd smith and company perfect handle and i just think it's just the most absolutely amazing tool um, and I'm really, really pleased to have this. I think this is my favorite tool of all the tools and it's nothing to do with the price. I just think it's the most iconic, the design, the hammer hatchet. Um, but yeah, according to him, he's only seen three go for sale and the one of them was in poor condition and he ended up going for this one. So I'm glad he did, let's put it that way. Um, the next one is this um, ball peen hammer, which I think there's one of these available on eBay for sale. Um, this is also March HD Smith, perfect handle tool, super cool, and don't know too much about it. I just know that the handle it just feels nice in the hand. It's just, it's just got a nice feel. That's all I can say. It's really nice. Um, really loving this brass one. Scout Crafter reckons that they can have some new ones made for that. You know, new ones cut. But I didn't see him volunteering to make them for me, eh, John? Uh, you said, if anybody ever needs my help with the lathe, I'll, I'm here for you. My tools are your tools. I'm sure that was in one of your videos. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so the uh, new tip hammer patent applied for. Now, this is a dead ringer. 
but the chap who bought it from said he can find nothing on it so he doesn't know he said he's the only one he's ever seen and it's a dead ringer for hd smith even the type of wood is a dead ringer for it but not sure if it um what the score is with this i just know i really really like it we did have these two sets of screwdrivers we had the wing type and the thumb type um, I'm not sure which is the favourite. I think more people preferred the thumb type than the wing type, um, which I think I kind of do in the hand. I think that's a little bit awkward. That kind of feels natural. But yeah, so put in the description which one's your favourite. Um, a lot of people commented on the bell system uh, wire pulling tool. Really, really cool. So yeah, that's a nice tool indeed. A little bit different, but it's, it's not HD Smith, but it's got a certain look to it. Then the next one, I have bought two of these. A lot of people commented on this as well. This is probably my second favourite tool. Is this is this winged um, screwdriver. And you can lock it in any position to get yourself more leverage. And I just think this is a really, really cool tool. I don't think it's this way around. Um, the perfect handle tool. And it's in good condition. I got two of these, so I was really happy to to buy two of those as well i think they're super cool so i was chatting to the guy um last night in in depth and he was saying to me he said he didn't buy too many of these items really on the cheap he said he found a few sort of job lots of saying screwdrivers and amongst them had a couple of it couple of screwdrivers or whatever he said but all the bigger tools you had to pay the price you know on ebay you had to pay the dollar price he never really found them in the rough so he said that he reckons, I mean, I was a bit surprised when he said it because I assumed that he would have made quite a bit of profit because I paid quite a high price for him. But he, he, he seemed to be under the impression he reckons he kind of got out even or possibly lost a bit, which I didn't want him to lose a bit. I was, you know, I was kind of assuming when I bought them that I was kind of paying the top dollar. Um, and I've looked at the guesses and the prices and I feel that, my the price i paid is kind of the middle of most of the guesses there was a lot of guesses which were very very similar to that and then there was some guesses higher and some guesses lower um i don't know how how really it could be too much lower because there's so many items so basically i worked out that there was basically 53 items which in the uk i paid about 27 pounds per item or around about 30 something dollars, maybe $36, $37 an item. Now, obviously, some items possibly maybe not worth $37, maybe, maybe not. And other items certainly are. So it balances out. Um, so the price I agreed on in the end, um, and there wasn't that much negotiation really. I think maybe in the end it was like maybe $50 or $100 reduced price from the price he asked and price paid because. I felt that the, 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 the chap he was selling them me was reasonable with his prices. I felt quite expensive in the sense that it was a lot of money, but reasonable because of the amount. So basically, I agreed to give him $1,600 for all the tools, plus $305 for the postage, which is $1,905. And then, and then I had to pay the um, duty on top, which was $110. So all in total, it was $2,015 for 53 HD Smith tools delivered across the Atlantic and all the duty and tax and shipping cost and everything handling and everything paid. Um, and I think it's reasonable because, and, and, and in the UK pound, I, I gave him £1,463 and then it was £68.90 pence for the postage uh, charge and then £12 for the extra next day delivery, which works out to be £1,534 is what I paid. Now, that's not a direct, um, that's the money left my bank transferred. So obviously when I paid through PayPal, the, um, the actual interest rate was really poor. But the actual pound amount was exactly 1534 and the dollar amount was exactly um 2015 and we do have one winner and he was 15 dollars off which is quite a guess 15 dollars off so i'm going to give that person three marks and it's resto rob well done resto rob let's all give resto rob a round of applause
So well done to Resto Rob. Everyone in the comments tell him well done. That was some serious guessing there to get $15 out. But I, there was actually probably, I thought, maybe 10 or 15 guesses, which was really close within 100. There deserves to be really some points for some close guesses. But I'm just sticking with Resto Rob. So I'm giving you three Resto Rob um, because I'm, I think 15 It's pretty much. If I hadn't have paid the £12 extra charge which was unnecessary, is about $15. So I think you're pretty much spot on. So well done to you, mate. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, I hope people got something. I've had a few comments, people saying that they enjoyed the tool haul and they saw some things which they didn't see, which is that the only reason I put the items I put up is to show people what tools are out there, what they look like, and if I know any information, I'll tell it you. Um, it's not a bragging session or anything like that. It's just showing you some very interesting items which I'm privileged to hold and own for a short while until I croak. And then hopefully the next person will look after them as well as I did and keep them in a good condition. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little mini series. Go check out um, the, um, Dave's restoration on the beautiful vice. There'll be a link below. A uh, massive thank you to the chap from Tennessee who sold me his collection because he actually had to have a couple of days to think about it before he actually made his mind up. He said, we agreed a price and he said, I need to think for a couple of days because, and then at the end he come back, he said, actually, I'm going to let him go. And I'm really pleased he let them go because, because um, I really do, um, you know, appreciate them and I'm really good. Plus they've been seen by a few more people. So if you've enjoyed this series, don't forget to say it in the comment. It's certainly my most expensive tool haul ever, without a doubt. My expensive, most expensive tool haul ever. Um, and I don't know if I'll ever get another one as good as that. <laughs> it's good. It took him 12 years to collect those items. Um, so that is some some if I had to pay him just ten dollars an hour for all the hours he spent searching, I think I'd be giving him forty thousand dollars for this collection. <laughs> but anyway, put that aside apart. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Have a great week. Rest of the weekend if you're watching it today, and go check out Dave's video. All right. Take care. Bye.